Molly Miller, and Colt Haynes, Love County, Oklahoma. Nine years ago, on the evening of July 7, 2013, 17-year-old Molly Miller and 21-year-old Colt Haynes found themselves passengers in a high-speed police chase through the back roads of Love County, Oklahoma. At around 10.30 p.m., the driver, James Conn Nip, spun out of a convenience store parking lot, throwing up rocks at a police car, which led to the chase that reached speeds of up to 120 miles per hour. Nip resisted the authorities' calls to pull over and headed towards his family's property. Police lost sight of the car somewhere along Long Hollow Road. Phone records show that night and into the early morning hours of July 8th, both Molly and Colt had made several phone calls to friends asking them to come and find them, that they were lost somewhere near Oswald Road and to bring water. Haynes spoke to some of his friends and told them that his ankle was broken and he was lying in a creek bed, coughing up blood. His friends said that they went out looking for him while they had him on the phone. They honked their horns over and over, but Colt couldn't hear them. Molly also called friends and family members, telling them that she was in a field and needed to be picked up. Molly's phone dialed 911 at 12.47 a.m. The call lasted just five seconds before it was dropped and she didn't say anything. 911, what's your emergency? The caller made several more calls to 911, but each call was dropped. The dispatcher called back, but no one picked up. In spite of 911 calls, police were never dispatched to the area where the calls were placed. The last phone call Molly made was placed at 10 a.m. on the morning of July 8th. The number she dialed has not been publicly released. Her phone pinged at the corner of Pike and Oswald Roads at that time. That same day, Molly's family reported her missing. Two weeks after their disappearances, Nip's 2012 Honda Accord that they were in the night of the chase was found wrecked in a field near Long Hollow Road. Police Captain Ronnie Hampton stated that the car was driven through several barbed wire fences and there was also significant damage to the undercarriage from driving through ditches a total of $18,000 worth of damage. Nip was the last person to see Molly and Colt alive and has refused to cooperate with police, stating that he was never with Molly and Colt that night. In January 2014, Nip was convicted of endangering civilians as a result of this chase, assault with a dangerous weapon, and unauthorized use of a vehicle. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison Authorities suspect foul play in Molly and Colt's disappearances, but the case remains unsolved. Nip was released from prison in 2018. He has never been charged in the connection with her disappearances. However, he remains a suspect, and a $45,000 reward is being offered in this case. In 2013, Sheriff Joe Russell had jurisdiction over Love County, and come to find out, that just so happened to be Nip's cousin. It was reported that Russell steered police away from the chase and was allegedly telling deputies not to pursue. I don't blame Miller's family at all for believing that he has hidden information on what actually happened that night. Russell resigned as sheriff in 2016, surrounding corrupt charges for allegedly letting his son deal methamphetamines under his roof and harboring a fugitive. Molly's family hired private investigator Philip Klein from Klein Investigations one year after her disappearance. Some areas around her last known location have been searched, but nothing was ever uncovered. In 2021, there was hoped to have been a huge breakthrough. Klein stated that a probable cause affidavit was submitted to the judge on a property on Pike Road in Love County that was close to where they were, but had never been searched. It's one little area that, to be honest with you, we were told had been searched, but it had not. We were within 600 yards when we did a dig several years ago, Klein said. All of the case investigators and law enforcement agencies combined their findings to submit the search warrant. The judge denied the private investigator's request for a search warrant to excavate the area, saying that there is no evidence a crime was committed. Love County Sheriff Marty Grisham issued a statement regarding Miller and Haynes' disappearances. Here is his statement. We are aware of the circulating rumors in reference to the Molly Miller, Colt Haynes' disappearances. 
As mentioned numerous times over the years, we have never given up hope on finding Molly Miller and Colt Haynes. While the case was forwarded to the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation some years back, a couple of current deputies that work for the new administration here at Love County have taken another look at the case and have drawn some of their own opinions and conclusions. Obviously, none of these opinions or conclusions have been substantiated as we have not been able to locate either Molly Miller or Colt Haynes. We do our best to look into every lead and tip that we receive, and in doing so, deputies believe a search warrant was necessary for a piece of property in Love County in the hopes of excavating years of build-up dirt and debris in a creek bed. If the theories of the deputies is correct, the excavation and search warrant are necessary. However, when the search warrant was applied for through the district court, it was denied, citing that the case is still considered a missing persons case, and there is no evidence to show that a crime has been committed. With not being able to prove that a crime has been committed, a search warrant could not be issued. We understand the public opinion of this case, the former administration, and the overall publicity that this case has brought. At this point, we are re-examining our options moving forward and still plan to follow up on any credible lead or tip that the public can provide. If you know something that could help in solving this cold case, please do the right thing and come forward. We have an anonymous tip line on our website at lovecountysheriff.com. You can call and speak to the sheriff or undersheriff directly by calling 580-276-3150, extension 2, or you can contact the Oklahoma Bureau of Investigations as they are the primary investigation agency for this case at 405-848-6724. Sheriff Marty Grisham. Popular YouTube channel, Adventures with Purpose picked up the investigation north of where the chase ended. The owner of this new property heard rumors that Molly and Colt may be buried in one of the lakes. He actually recovered a bloody woman's shirt hanging in a tree. The shirt was old and looked like it had been out there for several years. He immediately contacted one of the investigators who came and set up a crime scene. To his knowledge, the evidence has since disappeared and was never tested. Adventures with Purpose also worked with a cadaver dog team out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, but no more evidence was uncovered. What happened to the bloody shirt? Was it tested? Was it Molly's shirt? Molly Miller was 17 years old at the time of her disappearance. She is 5 foot 5 inches tall and weighed 95 pounds. She is biracial, Caucasian, Native American, with brown hair and blue eyes. Her hair was dyed black at the time of her disappearance. Her lower lip is pierced on the right side, and she has a tattoo of a star on her hip. Colt Haynes was 21 years old, standing between 5 foot 11 and 6 foot tall, and weighing between 180 and 190 pounds. He is Caucasian with brown hair and blue eyes. He had a goatee at the time of his disappearance. It is noted that he has the following tattoos. The letters CMFH on his forearm, a Colt 45 gun on his upper abdomen, and a banner reading Ride or Die on his upper chest. Can you help? Contact the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation at 1 800 522 8017 or email tips at osbi.ok.gov. Thanks so much for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe to Ride Around With Me and hear more missing persons cases. Here's two more videos to check out in case you missed them.